What's up guys, Eric here with driverlineup.com, World's Okay Steering Wheel Holder coming at you with a 1 a.m. video. Oh, what a night. I'm gonna be, I'm actually parked in the middle of the road. Because, uh, the road ahead of me on 60, is flooded and it caused a multiple car pileup on 60, which I almost always go up to 44 from uh, what is it, Monet, somewhere I can't remember the name of the town. I got this load in. Anybody, any of you guys picked up at George's, you know, you know what I'm talking about, George's Chicken Plant. But I figured it's the middle of the night, you know, 1 a.m. No reason I can't go this way. It won't be any traffic, you know, so I took 60. Didn't pay off at all. So I've been sitting here for an hour. My 14 hour clock's running down. This load is heavy as hell, and I there's I can't get to a scale until Springfield. So if it's overweight. You know, we're gonna be delayed hours on end. If it's overweight, then I have to go back all the way back. Oh, this is a freaking disaster, you guys. Okay, so I was gonna finish this video at the rest area that we're gonna stop at here shortly, but it's raining. And uh, I left off with me sitting in traffic for two and a half, three hours this morning with 60 closed. And now Jenna's finishing her shift. <laughs> sitting in traffic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what ended up happening this morning is, uh, I think I mentioned it in the video that uh, there was, when you guys see the flash flood warnings pop up, Jen and I have watches, so they pop up on the watches or on your phones. You know, typically you're like, ah, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> you know, doesn't affect me. That's, that's the side roads and shit. Uh, yeah, it affected me. It affected us <laughs> this morning. The, the flash flood was on 60. It flooded, and uh, it was at the very bottom of a hill on both sides of this bridge. And so cars are coming over the top of this hill at 60 miles per hour, or maybe even faster. Speed was 60 through there. And uh, finding themselves hitting a foot of water at very high speeds. So there's a whole bunch of cars tangled up and I, yeah, they went, they went for a plunge. Uh, so that, that, uh, really hung, hung us up for a while this morning, put us behind schedule. I wanted to get all the way through St. Louis, um, before I stopped and that didn't happen. The second thing is I said in yesterday's video when we were at our shippers that because Prime, and I'm not really mad about it, it just is what it is. Like, I, like you know, I'm just I'm just mentioning it just just because in the future, if I only want 100 gallons of fuel when I, I leave Prime, uh, I'm gonna like have to get out of the truck and be like, let me remind you, I only want 100 gallons of fuel because, like I said in yesterday's video, I told them when we left the uh, outbound at Prime, then I only wanted 100 gallons of fuel because we've dealt with this shipper before and we know how they load the trailers. They load them really heavy um, and usually it usually ends up being a lot heavier on the truck. So you have to run with, or a lot heavier on the trailer. They load them all the way out to the back of the trailer. So you, you often have to run, you know, in the 11th or 12th hole. Well, sure enough, um, by the time I got back to Springfield, it was 200 pounds over on the, on the drives. 
Um, so I just burned a little bit of fuel. I'll just put it that way. Burned a little bit of fuel, and I mean, it was in the middle of the night, and we ended up being able to work it out. But if I had only gotten 100 gallons of fuel, it would have been fine. But because they just went ahead and filled the tanks, even though I asked for 100 gallons of fuel, it caused some problems. Anyway. Life goes on. We finally figured it out. We're uh, on our way. But yeah, if you guys get those flash flood warnings, pay attention to them because it's the first time in my trucking career that I got a flash flood warning and no more than two miles later, I'm sitting in the middle of the highway for nearly three hours because of a flash flood. So it can't affect you. Anyway, uh, we're well on our way on this load. We're already pre-planned tomorrow. I don't want to say what it is, but I will tell you that it is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and I didn't even have to use load choice to, to get it. It just, it's exactly what we wanted. Um, it seems like every time we deliver to the place we're delivering to, we're able to score this loader similar out so we're going to be $2,500 in on the next pay period by uh, what is today? What is today? Tuesday? So by Thursday afternoon um, so we're rocking and rolling already guys um, man if I know fuel prices are scary but if you guys are thinking about coming to Prime or getting into trucking Rates are not scary at all. Rates are crazy. Now you really gotta pay attention to your line haul to make sure that what you're seeing is not all fuel surcharge, you know what I mean? I was talking to Matt from No Luck, Luck Trucking Transportation a few hours ago. He actually saw us on the interstate. Uh, they passed us on 70 on their way to Edwardsville. And he was, he was telling me he's watching that too. Um, from what I've seen on these two loads, both the line haul and the fuel surcharge are increasing. Fuel surcharge is increasing more um, than a line haul, but both of them are increasing. So, anyway, we're rocking and rolling. Jenna's almost done. I got good sleep today. Uh, the, yeah, earplugs. I'm going to show you guys because I know some of you are asking in comments about the type of earplugs because I've said before that my challenge. In sleeping, well, it used to be a Freightliner. That's no longer a problem. But my challenge in sleeping is sounds. And if you get cheap earplugs, you can hear like scratching against a pillow and stuff like that. So they got to be really, really super soft. And Jenna found some that are even better than the first ones I had. So I'm going to show you guys that uh, this week. For those of you who had questions on what kind of earplugs to get, they are freaking awesome. All right, guys, be safe. Make good decisions. And as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you guys soon.